Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my Samsung Galaxy S10, the applications that I use, and some of the settings that I've enabled on my S10, so it gives me the experience that I want from it. So let's dive in and discover. So I'm gonna show you some of the settings that I choose, and also some of the apps that I use to make my uh, S10 look the way it looks right now. So the very first thing I wanna talk about is the widget right over here. In fact, it is one of the most asked questions that I get, what widget I'm using on my home screen. So basically all you wanna do is you wanna to go to the Play Store and you wanna type in HD widgets, all right? And that's gonna allow you to uh, download and install the HD widgets for your smartphone, which is this guy right over here. Now it's gonna be a couple bucks, it's not free as far as I remember. So if you want it, you're gonna to have to pay a couple bucks, but it's entirely worth the price. So let me show you what it does really quickly so I understand uh, the capabilities. Now it looks good as it is, and that's why people ask me what it is all the time. But let me show you what it actually uh, allows you to do. So if I go to my widgets, and if I scroll over to HD widgets, uh, which is gonna be somewhere right here, right over here, uh, you can pick all kinds of different styles over here uh, with different sizes. So let's just grab this for a minute. I'm gonna dump it on the screen right over here, and then you get a screen right away that allows you to customize the entire thing. So on the top here, I have some presets. I can tap on this one. I can tap on Cairo over here. And then I got this beautiful widget. You know, I can pick any color that I want. And I can also customize every single thing on the widget uh, from the bottom scroller right over here. So if I wanted to, for example, change the style of the clock, I would tap on the clock and then I would just pick one of these clock styles. And then if I want to change the color of the clock and tap on this one, and just pick any color that I want, for example, this one, okay? So just to show you uh, what this thing is all about, and of course you can resize it so you can center that as you please or make it just like that, okay? So it's gonna look real nice as you can see. So that's the first question I get, so I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, that's known as the HD widgets. If you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. Now the other thing I have over here is a Samsung widget right over here. So basically when I tap on this one, it, op it optimizes your smartphone, okay? And when I say it optimizes your smartphone, it clears your memory and deletes storage that you do not need and gives you a quick status report. It's the same thing as going into the settings, going into the actual uh, device care and simply tap in on the optimize button that's gonna show up right here. Now, as you can see, I just did it, so it's, I'm at 100% optimization. By the way, if you do wanna access this widget right over here, all you do is you pinch the screen, you go into the widgets, and then you go over to device care, and from here you can pick two of these widgets and just dump them on the screen, all right? Now, one thing I like to keep, but some people have complained that they don't like, is when you tap on this button over here, okay? At the bottom, you get a bunch of suggested apps recommended. So I can actually tap on this one and just go to the suggested apps if I wanted to. Uh, most of the time when I press over here, I want to access the multitasking screen so I can switch between apps. So this, uh, these apps here are, are in fact redundant. So what you can do is when you're in this mode, you tap on that button, you tap on settings, and then you disable suggested applications. Now when I tap on that button, those applications are gone and the windows are a little bit more bigger and centered, so it uh, looks much better. Now, one more thing I like to do on my Samsung Galaxy S10 or my Samsung devices is, of course, I enable the edge screen, and of course, a lot of you guys probably do have it enabled, and I like to have this soft key edge panel, and basically, this allows me to turn off my phone just by tapping the lock button, all right? Now the phone is turned off. Now, I can go right back in if I wanted to, uh, but again, the soft key edge also has a screen capture option, so I can take a screenshot uh, very quickly and very easily without having to do any kind of button combination. But again, other things you have here, you can go to home, you can also go over here and tap on recents, and that's gonna bring up the multitasking pane. So that's the soft key edge panel that I have on my edge screen that I use all the time. Now, if you wanna install this, it's not gonna be available right away. What you would do is you would go to the settings, uh, you'll go to uh, the display and then you would go into your edge screen right over here and then go to edge panels and tap on this button here and tap on galaxy store so when you tap on the store it takes you into the edge panel store and from here you can just search for the soft key edge panel soft okay and then search for it it's going to come right over here and then you install that and after you install it 
it actually gets dumped right over here and from here you can just enable it okay that's the way to do it so that's the soft key edge panel the other panel that I have by the way with the edge panels instead of swiping around the panels what I like to do is I like to tap this button to get a quick preview and then I tap on which one I want now this is the other edge panel that I actually activate that's a smart select so this allows you to create animations, uh, take screenshots in this uh, oval shapes or rectangles. So if I tap on this one, I can take a screenshot of anywhere on the screen and it gets saved into my uh, gallery as you just saw. But again, if I go over here, if I tap on this one, I can do the same thing over here. And of course I can do this, I can cancel this, I can do this anywhere. So if I go into the calculator application, I just bring this up, boom, I can take a quick screenshot click done and just send it right over to anybody that I want okay so those are the edge panels that I currently use uh, all the time and of course one of my biggest things is the apps edge panel now over here what I have is I have a bunch of folders in my edge panels okay like the finance folders so I can have access to all my financial applications my shopping applications I got the same things right over here but sometimes I redo my home page and get rid of the applications and if I do that uh, go more minimalist what I can do then is I can swipe this over and I can access all these guys no problem so I can go to my media if I want to watch some uh, anime some YouTube videos some Netflix everything is going to be right here and of course I color code all my folders so if I want to for example click done if I want to have the media folder in red I color code that as well outside as well so if I have the Google folder here let me just look at the finance folder let's make that uh, uh, green okay so now I have the finance folder in green so I color code all my folders now I do want to let you know in the apps edge if you do want to create a folder all you do all you do is you you tap on edit all right and then from here you can grab one of these guys and just dump it on top of the other one to create a folder give it a name and all that in case you did not know so we can also delete the folder if we don't need a folder all righty so that's what I do with my uh, edge screen which is a very useful tool I've been using for a long time now one more thing I do with my home screen again I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper in a second but if I if I swipe over uh, over here just to give an example uh, if I want to bring the notifications panel down I don't want to go all the way to the top to pull it down what I want to do is I just want to swipe down on the screen it comes right down all right so what you can do you can enable that option by pinching on the screen going to the home screen settings and then simply going down and tapping on quick open notification panel okay so this allows you to pull this down just like that and then if you swipe up you go to your apps you know that already just one more way to make your phone even more convenient to use as you can see now one more thing that I have over here uh, is the uh, good luck application now some of you guys may heard about that so I'm just gonna show you one thing right now there's something that's very famous so if I go to good luck uh, if I go into my family uh, section not the unit section but the family section I download the edge lighting plus option now this allows me to get notifications that give me a light around the hole and of course I can actually customize it uh, with any color that I please okay I can also pick the effects now you can pick all these different effects and these are built into the phone but when you download the edge lighting plus application you get access to the eclipse effect that gives you this light around the actual hole and that's the way I like it now if you want to download this you have to go you go up to your Samsung folder and look for Galaxy Store in your app drawer you tap on it and you just search for good luck which is right here okay good luck and then you simply install that now, after you find it there's a little problem right now with the connection but you will find it and you can install it and then of course when you install it, it's going to be uh, in your app drawer uh, which is good luck right here and then just go over to family and install edge lighting plus and that's going to give you the eclipse effect if you please so that's for my notifications now to set my wallpapers many times I'll simply go into the wallpapers over here uh, which is just built into your smartphone and just go to top and just tap on this one and look for free wallpapers okay but what I'm doing now is I'm using actually something I've been using using for a while is the tape it application so this is an application I download to uh, generate amazing wallpapers so basically if I swipe to this side it picks picks a brand new uh, pattern and then if I swipe to this side it changes the color of the same pattern to something else if I swipe up it goes to the previous wallpaper if I swipe uh, down 
it goes to the next wallpaper. So I can go through all kinds of different wallpapers as you can see, okay? And then let's pick this one. And if I go this way, it's going to change the design but keep the color scheme. But if I go this way, it's gonna change the color scheme but keep the design. So tape it is pretty amazing. I've been using this uh, for a long, long time. So that's the one I like right now. So let's swipe this way. Uh, just pick something a little bit bright over here. Nice color combination, that's good. So when you tap on this one, takes a couple of seconds and boom, you've got a brand new, gorgeous, unique wallpaper that's get, that gets generated on the spot. But that's basically the way I have my Samsung Galaxy S10 set up. Now one final thing I do over here is when you swipe this over, okay, as you can see I have an empty screen. I always create one empty screen and the reason I do that is because every now and then I'll pinch the screen and I, I'll make that in my home screen. So that's my main screen. So if I do have a gorgeous wallpaper, I can uh, quickly access that by tapping the home button and just see uh, a nice, clean, minimalist interface with a nice background. For example, if I have this background right over here, uh, let's go to view all. Now this is one of my favorite backgrounds right over here. Okay, this blues beach. I'm gonna tap on home screen. All right, so now I have that gorgeous background staring right at me. Okay, and if I, have, if I wanna access all my uh, widgets and apps, boom, they're right over here. And of course, when I feel like having something on my home screen, I just pinch the screen and make that the home uh, home screen, the main home screen. So now when I tap the home button, it goes right over there. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any recommendations for other people watching this video to do with their settings, just drop them down below. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.